Hi everybody, this is Sarah here. Yeah, I uh, hope everybody have a great weekend. Yeah, I would like to show you uh, my finished uh, fabric uh, journal. This is my first fabric uh, journal that I have just completed. And I would like to thank uh, two ladies that have inspired me to make this uh, fabric journal. Uh, they are uh, Bonnie, Sassy, Scrappers. Hi Bonnie, and also I have followed the tutorial by Annie, Miss Garden Grove One. Hi Annie, yeah, I would like to thank uh, both of you for inspiring me uh, for the great tutorial Annie that you have provided uh, a couple of weeks ago that I have followed your tutorial. That's why I able to make this uh, fabric uh, journal. So uh, let us start uh, with this fabric journal. Uh, it turned out uh, quite big. It's about uh, 10 inches by uh, eight and a half inches uh, wide. So I, th I think I just got carried away with the size uh, because I've used uh, this uh, this uh, fabric is like the uh, wedding dress type of fabric and it's really uh, wide and I don't intend to cut it off so in the end I actually use the whole size of it so it's that's why it turned out that big so I use this uh, material as the front cover so uh, yeah it's, it's really a very beautiful fabric really uh, it's like applique uh, type of fabric but without any bits. So in the end I have to make my own uh, decorations here. Uh, so all these uh, images I uh, printed from the the two websites. I think uh, it's called Magic Moonlight and Graphic Fairies. Uh, they provide a lot of uh, free uh, vintage images. So I have actually uploaded uh, some of the these uh, beautiful uh, uh, images of the young uh, uh, girls and they are also pretty and adorable and so for the spine I have used this uh, chiffon type of uh, rosette trim to cover the spine here and this is really uh, puffy and soft so I have bought this from eBay a uh, couple of months ago uh, before making this uh, fabric journal I have actually waited for almost a month to accumulate uh, lots of fabric and doilies and material to make this uh, fabric journal because I don't have enough uh, doilies and uh, material in my stash so I've actually uh, waited for a month to buy and then to accumulate uh, all the materials so that is enough so and the first one is this uh, uh, hammock uh, flower that I made from various uh, material using the muslin here and then some uh, uh, what you call a uh, lace and then crochet type of lace and then uh, also this one is like a like, uh, gallop type of uh, lace yeah just all has been uh, done using the running stitch uh, method it's quite easy and then this here is a very beautiful uh, vintage uh, brooch that I have in my stash and then I have put a small little bird charm uh, at the side here and then I've made a lot of uh, it's like a hanging uh, tassels like from all fabrics that I have used here various types of fabric and then some of the um, this one is from the earrings by broken earrings that I have in my stash yeah, and then uh, also these are the the post string that I have, and also this one, and then 
for the for the first page, uh, I've actually uh, decorated quite a lot for this uh, first page, and this one is my another of my handmade uh, flowers, and this one is used. Uh, I use the doilies, doilies, and then some of the uh, flowers that I have made uh, from some laces and then uh, this one is another rhinestone uh, kind of a, uh, earrings that I have uh, used for the flower center and an another of these uh, like a crown crown a head pin that I use here and some of the pearl spray and this one is a piece of applique that I have used at the corner here and this is a, a organza um, flower and I have decorated here with uh, some uh, loose pearls uh, like what uh, Bonnie has done in her fabric journals and I have also uh, uh, use a lot of uh, layer of lace here as well and then at the side here yeah and then this one is another of my handmade old set trim uh, using the chiffon material and another fabric flower and also uh, another Venice lace here and then some gathered uh, lace here at the top and then loose pearls that I have gathered to form flowers and then put a, a bling in the center yeah I really uh, love how this uh, fabric journal turned out so it's uh, quite cute and adorable and the applique here um, is actually just um, quite uh, empty so I have to decorate my own using pearls and and um, this one is a like fabric type of uh, butterfly to adhere here so and then here are the, some of the also fabric uh, uh, flowers that I have bought from the I think the wedding section yeah that you can find all in the wedding section that they use for the wedding uh, I think that's about it for the first page. So the whole fabric journal is actually quite big like that. Mm -hmm, and okay, and then uh, all the pictures I have uh, printed on the uh, just a normal cut because I don't have the fabric paper like Bonnie has uh, done. So I've used a uh, normal card like Annie has done it for her fabric journals that she has uh, made. So the the first page uh, looks like this. So this is another beautiful uh, image of a, a very uh, pretty uh, young lady. And I have made this again flower from muslin make it like proofy style again and this one is another twisted rose that I have made and then I put some bling and then some uh, pink feather here yeah I love how it came out because it got some pink here so I just uh, use a bit of pink here and there so another of this another leaf uh, flowers with a uh, uh, flower center here. This is also from the earring that I have taken out, <coughs> and then I make the like kind of the frame up with lots of uh, cream lace and then also pink, very light pink lace to form a frame, and then some pearls, some pink buttons here. And then some crochet, some crochet here and then here, uh, and then here as well. And then I put some links in the center here. 
Uh, let's move to the next page, which is this one. Again, I have uh, printed the beautiful uh, image again of a um, very beautiful girl. Here, I really like her smile, so innocent and pretty. And then I've used uh, another rosette trim here. And then I put some um, bling. I think I like rhinestone um, flower center here. And then I have made a lot of uh, like tassel type from different type material. Also made some uh, some of these uh, handmade tassels just using uh, some of the uh, poles and then some of this um, lace like applique yeah so and um, also some pearl string here and then again the uh, I have uh, made the the frame uh, using the some of the uh, like this kind of like scallop lace and then use the I think this is a half a uh, half uh, back pole to frame the center here, and then another of my handmade uh, flowers using the doilies. Some of the doilies I have tea dyed it uh, myself using the tea and coffee, and and then also some use some loose pearls. And then also some of this kind of like um, I don't know what is this material, but it's a very it's not soft, it's quite rough, and I don't know what is it called, but I really like uh, uh, the rough thickness, and then it's just suitable to put it here, and then another of my handmade flowers and my this rosette trim that I made from chiffon. And then this one is the flower that I bought from eBay. And I've used a lot of uh, pearl spray at the sides here. Yeah, a different type of pearl spray here. And then there's this at the side here. I've used a piece of applique here. Uh, it's not applique. It's like it's like a lace, but it looks like applique. Then I have. And then all these um, pearls, I've actually glued it in myself, so it, it doesn't have uh, uh, pearls originally, but it's, it looks nice here, at the side here. So that's how the this page looks like. And then we move on to the next page, which is this one. So another image of this beautiful young lady that is saying uh, shh, <laughs> quiet, be quiet and then um, I really like her because she is so pretty and then uh, I've made another two uh, handmade uh, flowers using the these uh, kind of laces I just uh, twisted it in and then these two are also the from the uh, earrings that I didn't use anymore and some of these uh, fabric flowers that I have bought from the wedding section again and then here is an, uh, another handmade uh, flowers and another doily another uh, twisted or folded uh, rose that I made and then this one is just a simple uh, ribbon rose that I have in my stash and then uh, another doily here another folded rose but this one has more dimension uh, also I made another stick pin here and here also I have laid a uh, lots of uh, layer of uh, doilies and some laces uh, different type of lace here as well and then here as well and then use some of these uh, acrylic uh, uh, embellishment here and here also use some scallop lace for the frame and then make a bow here with some pearl string and then make another uh, 
lace, uh, fla uh, lace rolls and then a uh, normal just a piece of uh, clear button here so this page uh, looks like this I really love how this page turns out this is one of my favorite page so and then move on this is just a uh, like a doily runner that I have put in this page so this page and this page is the same doily that I have folded into two yeah and so here yeah, it's just empty nothing so I made uh, also another uh, pocket like what uh, Bonnie and Annie has done in their fabric journal this is another handmade flower that I have made from this very uh, thin uh, tool materials and then this is another bling center and I've also uh, this pocket is made from the um, doily and it's like a table center and I have folded to form a pocket here and then there's a, there's a two opening here, two pockets you can put stuff in and then another one here as well at the top and then I put um, the pearl trim here and then at the corner here as well and then all these are uh, uh, like a tassel trim I've made myself because actually this, uh, this kind of uh, place the crochet lid doesn't have anything so I just want something dangling so I've made my own puzzles here um, really love how it turned out especially with the pocket here and the two pockets here that I can put stuff in like some journal or something like that so and here also got some doily actually uh, this page the second, I mean, the layer is this one is made from the cushion cover that I have cut into two. Yeah, it has its own uh, crochet at the corner here, like you can see here, it's very pretty. And it's made from muslin material as well. And then the corner here is also like crochet already. Yeah. So, and then the next page will be the, this page of this um, beautiful young lady who really loves her hair and, uh, and her dress and everything and then I have used this another chiffon rosette trim that I have put in my stash that actually look like this so it looks like this very puffy and soft so I have cut three and then make like a shape like a V shape to frame her and then use some of this uh, very small rosette trim and then curl some muslin uh, uh, strips of muslin in between and then use some loose pearls again and here and here to decorate all and then also the buckle slider that I have used here and then tie a piece of lace here and then this is another type of uh, like a um, trim like a lace like a scallop type of trim that I have used at the top and then this one is I handmade myself it's just like a folded rose and then I put some of the pearl flower center here um, so this is how this page looks like and then the final page is this one so as you can see it's another picture of the beautiful young lady she is so gorgeous I really love her and all the embellishment and on her hair and then she's carrying a flower and so I have made this page to look like a, like a curtain so I have been inspired by Jen 
Jen is a Bonnie's daughter. Hi Jen, and Jen's YouTube channel is Oak Trees Vibration. So as uh, she has made a banner for Bonnie using uh, using a uh, lots of trims and laces, and I really like how she used this curtain uh, type of design to frame the picture. So I uh, have made this also trim myself from muslin and then I have tied the ribbon using um, a normal lace and then tied it with it and then and adhere the ribbon rows at the side here and then this is my handmade another of my handmade flowers using the satin I think white satin material and some of this uh, gathered lace and then here is just uh, some like acrylic, uh, like a like a heart shape, uh, what do you call pearl embellishment. And this here as well. And this is my another of my handmade flowers, rose. Another handmade rose, and here as well another handmade rose. And some of this uh, material that I found in my stash. I don't know why it is, but it looks like a net. But it's really soft. And I just love how it looks. It's so grungy looking. <laughs> Make it more vintage here. And then here also another of these, uh, a lot of layers of uh, lace here. And I've gathered some laces at the top here. And some of this uh, pearl trim. So this page uh, looks like this, and and if you want to uh, look for more uh, inspiration, you can go and see uh, another two ladies that have watched the their videos, and they are really talented as well. And um, the first one will be the Tara One Four Eight, who is Sharon. Hi, Sharon. And then the second one would be. Uh, scrapping Happy uh, XO. So you can check this uh, to YouTube channel, and I'll put all the link of the YouTube channel in the description below. The bag just looks like this. It's just uh, very simple, empty. I didn't decorate the bag because the material is really, really pretty, and I don't want to cover it. So that's how it looks. So I hope you like it. Uh, please uh, feel free to leave your comments. I really appreciate uh, all of your kind comments. And I really thank you all for watching my video. And I hope everybody have a good weekend. Thank you for watching again. Bye.